My name is Royce Ham. I play forward. Uh, my position, I would describe myself as a stretch forward. Um, knock down open shots, mid-range shots, 15. And I play above, play above the basket, play above the rim, and attack the boards, stuff like that. Young fella, kind of came out of out of nowhere last season, um, but made some noise though. Yes, sir. What have you been doing in the off season to get you guys prepared to get you prepared for for this season at all, Dean Davis? Uh, I've been in the weight room trying to get a little bigger, eating right, and. Um, Staying in the gym, just staying in the gym, putting in work, working hard, knocking like knocking down shots, taking shots, and just playing my game. So eating right, so that, that kind of insinuates you've been eating bad. What you been eating? Nah, I ain't been eating bad. I'm just trying to eat a little better. So when the season come, I ain't got to worry about you know the back to back games. I ain't worry about being out of shape, be ready to go. You know, just be ready to play ball. It seems like uh, you know even if, even the work on wood you mentioned. Uh, not not winning any games, but you had some some, some pretty big plays. Yes, sir. Um, trying to carry your team, although you guys <laughs> didn't didn't win any games in that tournament. Um, in the summertime, who did you play with this summer? Oh, I played franchise prolific. Okay. Now, play you play seventeen though. Now I play sixteen. So sometimes you know kids want to play up. Mm -hmm. Was it important for you to play sixteens, or were you did you want to play seventeens? Uh, me personally, I feel like. I could have played 17, but I just, um, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't play up. I could have, and I, as I think of it, I should have, but I know. I just tried to stay with my team. Yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes, you know, people try to play up too fast. Yeah, and I just want to make sure before I go up too fast that my game was sound. And I don't want to rush into something, and it's not there yet. Now that's, 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 that's definitely a good approach because um, a lot of kids don't, they don't think in that regard, so you know, parents don't think in that regard. Um, how is your team going to be this year? Uh, we got a nice team. Uh, one of our key players um, hurt his MCL, so we're just hoping he recover fast. He's a senior. Uh, we, got, we got some nice guards. We got um, one of a sophomore, also like myself, stepping up as um, on the wing. But we're going we're gonna to be real sound. We're going to be good. And just hope for big things. Like last year, got knocked out first round, trying to go farther. Big matchup against Vanderbilt. Mm -hmm. I was going back and forth on Twitter about yes, maybe two or three months ago. Yes, sir. What, uh, you know, have you guys played each other before? Never played against him. Never? Never. Never, never, never been in the same gym with him. So what's, what's that, what's that going to be like? What's, what's the night going to be like? Uh, I'm just tack it. I try to overthink things, play my game, just do what I can to do. Is that a, is that like a statement game for you? Because see, everybody obviously everybody knows who Jared is on a national level. Uh, everybody knows who he is locally as well. I'm not sure if your name as is big, mm -hmm. even locally, yeah. right? So is that something that you kind of like like a motivation game? Someone on your calendar that you can... Yeah, that's something I'm just looking forward to because people tell me this. Even people at my school they doubt me, Jared Vanderbilt. So called better than you, better than you, better than this. I'm like, I mean, you can say whatever. I never looked the man eye and eye on the court. So, I mean, I just what I'm saying I just can't wait till November 17th to just show to show people what I can do. Oh, I know he's ready. He ain't got the date down. <laughs> what what time is the game? Two thirty. What at four thirty? And move back down to two thirty. Okay, okay. So I mean, you know, it is what it is. Yes, sir. It's an opportunity for you to get a chance to to show everybody. Yes, um, because in the, that that's a big stage, you know. Yes. It's a big stage for you. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any like superstitions, like that you do before every game? Something that you gotta wear the same shoes, you gotta uh, listen to the same music. Is there anything that you do that's kind of? I listen to uh, I listen to the same music before every game, and um, I wear uh, most people on my team wear like three, four pair of socks. I just wear one, <laughs> and like I just try to go out there and play. I was. When I was younger, I was real superstitious, but I, I, I kind of grew out of it, like, because I kind of just figured if you're going you gonna to have bad games, you're going to have a good game, good game. You just got to go out there and just play. So I just kind of. So, so you say you yeah. listen to music. What are you what, what you listening to? What's in your, uh, your playlist? My playlist, I listen to um, Drake. Uh, what else? I listen, I, listen to, um, I listen to Rich Homie Coin. I listen to um, Little Amigos. 
just try to expand my music vocabulary when I'm when I'm just trying to get settled down. Uh, I cut it on some Kim or some or some like back in the day. Just settle your mind down. Just ready. Just get you ready for game time. That must be the influence of your parents, man. Yes, sir. Guys, listen to some Kim. Yes, sir. That's funny. <laughs> I bet you asked some of your peers. They were like, "Who is Kim?" Yeah. yeah I have no idea. Yeah, I got my little phone. Got some Kim, some Anthony Hamilton, and all that stuff like that. Just to settle my man, you know, before the game, you get all hype and live, listen to all that crazy music. But right before the game, you try to have a calm mindset and just calm down, and just go out there and ready to play. Talk about your biggest influences in your life. Uh, who, 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 who would that be? My biggest influences. Really, my, my parents and my grandfather, I mean, because ever since I was little, my grandfather told me I was going to be something in life. And I never knew I was because, like, my when I said around my seven, eight year year, I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. Like, and around that time, I had like a five inch growth spurt. So that really changed my life. And I just started working hard and just started training in basketball. And I just want to keep advancing now. Who's your favorite player in, in the NBA? Past past players or even even current players? Uh, or players? One one player you probably like. You know what? I see my game in in this person. My favorite player is Kevin Durant, but who I who I will base my game on is like a Lamarcus Aldridge, some somebody, somebody like that that steps out and hit little um, baseline jumpers, 15, 17 footers, can back to the basket, can score it any way you can. So I would say somebody like that. That's not a bad person to select. You know, he's pretty pretty damn good. Yes, <laughs> now, if you wasn't playing basketball though, how tall are you? Six eight. Six eight. So if you six eight and you're not playing ball, what what, what, what would you probably be doing? Uh, well, when I was little, I was a real big football fan, so I'd probably be playing football. But it's like I don't even. I grew out of it like. I, I, I just started loving basketball, or I probably would just be working on my book. That's the main thing. My parents, my grandfather, my auntie, they're my three biggest influences. And also my coach, they always get on me, attack me after class, and be like, get, your, get to class, get your books, stuff like that. So I would just probably focus on my books and just try to go as far as I can in education. So you, so obviously you're a good student. Yes, sir. Um, and, and being a good student translates oftentimes and being a good player. Mm -hmm. um, and it's good to have that kind of balance. Because oftentimes, you know, at least from, you know, from what I've seen, kids be really, really good, but don't qualify academically. Mm -hmm. And now they got to go to a JUCO or yeah. they not playing anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, so it's important, you know, for you to continue to keep on that path um, and have your grades in order. Last thing, man, just, um, I know you're on Twitter because you, like I said, I, I've yeah. seen you on Twitter. So you get Twitter uh, handle out as well as uh, any last shout outs you want to give. Uh, my Twitter is um, Royce underscore dedicated. And I would like to just shout out to my um, my best friend Jamal, my mother, my auntie who pushed me hard, my grandfather, and my coach who stay on me. I just want to say thank you and keep working hard.